if Toasty pays attention, never cuts. I think I usually have to tell Toasty when to cut. Because it's like, he, it, like, it's not, I stream for hours and hours at a time. It's not like we can realistically expect Toasty to go back and watch all five to eight to however many hours of my stream and cut every time I yell Toasty cut. That's why I do it, because it's kind of funny when he misses it. Um. The kids game, Duck Duck Goose. Yeah, but like, I know what Duck Duck Goose is. I don't understand Duck Duck Gumble. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying, Peach. That's what I get for going live so late, man. It's 1 a.m. I've only been alive for... Alive. I've only been live for 3 hours, 19 minutes. Why isn't Paralyzed Heal Insulin? That one might hit too close, too close to home, man. Alright, let me hit this bag up. Pop a repel. Very swiftly run through this cave, because we beat everyone. And we're not going to run into any wild Pokemon. Nice. Love that it asks me that, and I don't have to do it every time, especially in these early stages where repels end every three feet. I see what you're going for, Gaming Fruity. It just didn't land is all. Like, you threw it out there, it was just a miss. I respect the hustle. Don't get the wrong idea. It's just, that was not, in fact, it chief, as it were. And we are out of here. That cave is really quick when you don't do all the extra shit that I do every single time I go through it. Okay, Toasty, make sure you cut in now, at least. Make sure you're back in. This is important. Because now... What do they lead with? You guys remember what the lead with? Oh, one of them was a Persian. What was the other Pokemon? Well, it wasn't the Venomoth, was it? Do we know what type the Venomoth was? Possibly Raspberry? Which is weak to great, maybe? Close to your editor, yes. Wiggly tough, really? Whatever, we're leading with Q-Pop and Gumble. Fuck the police. Alright, so we're back. I ran through the orange gym multiple times. Multiple times, like so many times. So I wasn't able to even out the experience as much as I hoped I would have in the orange gym. Basically, Straw Millions, a level 30 monster, unstoppable force. Leafa Reich is level 26, right? Evolved from Chikorita to, to Bayleaf. Evolved from whatever its first form was to, to Leafarite, right? Play on Licorice still. Didn't evolve me often because, you know, fuck him. Or didn't level him up because he only gives me Chesto Berries. He's useless out here. Uh, Thundershot still leveled up to 18. Q-Pop only got leveled up to 16. Gumball is level 21 and hits like a truck now. So we're going to try this battle again. The Vanilla Dome. If you can survive four battles, you'll win a prize. Yeah, we don't recover between bouts. My team's so strong. You might be thinking, I'm the first just to wear you down. That's just silly. Let's fight. All right. Now that we're ready. Cup Cat and Cream Tough coming at you. All right. Well, I think I'm going to growl at them. So they're probably going to hit me with neutral type attacks. Gum Bubbler hits hard or Bubble hits both. I think I'm going to use Gum Bubbler. Gum Bubble, uh, Cup Cat. Only level 15. I thought they were level 18. So we're actually better off than I thought. You pop got the growl off, so they're not gonna do much damage. Lollipop cup catch, see what it does. Gum bubbler hits so hard. Oh no, she has five Pokemon. Okay. Lollipop. Uh, I'm actually gonna get Q Pop out of there because Q Pop doesn't do well against Orange type, which is what a pops at you is. So let's go out into Straw Million with that. And we're gonna Gum Bubbler pops at you. Should die to it, because Gum Bubbler should be super effective here. It's kind of, I should try not to go into Straw Million at all costs because he is way, way over leveled. Q Pop wants to learn Leer, but Leer is a bad move, so we're not going to learn it. Is it any different from Tailwear? Lowers the defense stat? Lowers the defense stat. It's the exact same. Why would I do that? Straw Million got level 31. That's so gross. Trying to learn Fruit Punch? Wait a minute. That's just a stronger Ember. Oh, it's got. It's a lower attack rate. Or a lower. Goes from 100% accurate to 85. Ooh, 85. That's low. I'll get rid of Sugar Puff. I'll get rid of Smoke Screen for that. Did we lose Gum? I think we lost Gum Bubbler as a move, which is really unfortunate. 
right, we're down to the last one now. I'm actually gonna switch out because I shouldn't be in here as this guy anyway. He's too strong. We're gonna go back into Q-Pop now that we don't have fear. I don't have Gum Bubble to use, so that's my strongest attack kind of out the window. And we're basically just waiting till we get Gum Bubbler back. Oh no, I have Gum Bubbler back. Awesome. And Headbutt causes flinches, so that's a good combo. Alright, won the first battle pretty handily. I'm next. Say, would you happen to have any sprinkles? No, buddy, I'm a lot of sprinkles. Sorry, Trainer Chris. Poke sweet Trainer Chris. A couple cookie tots. I think Grape is strong against these guys, which is good news for Q Pop. Try to lollipop one of them. And then I'll bubble both to see how it does. Actually, no, that's apple type. That won't do well. And I know that won't do well from experience. Let's gum bubble the other one. Gum bubble is also not very effective. And they both bit him. That's not good. Oh, lollipop smacks. Awesome. Um, so we're going to let lollipop do its thing. But I'm going to get Gumball out of here because he's actually not very strong. Let's see if Thundershad can gain any experience from this. Oh, not Hunger Touch. Oh, that's got to be Poison's thing. It's not a guaranteed Poison. So, Lollipop him again and he should be gone. I don't remember if Orange Shock does well. If Orange Shock doesn't do well, I'll just use Pikachu to pair hacks everybody. Pikachu learned an attack called Orange Wave, which is Thunder Wave. Alright, nobody's gotten Poison yet, which is good. Cotton Moth? Cotton Moth should still be weak to Lollipop. And let's get Cookie Todd out of here, because why not? Not much experience, but experience. Paralyzed from static. Awesome. And Lollipop one-shot. Wait a second. It's got to be quite effective or something. Look at Q-Pop putting in work, man. Who would have thought little baby Q-Pop would grow up? Granted, we're over-leveled a little bit, but... They're fully evolved Pokemon. Some of them are. Well, darn it. Sprinkles don't help at all. All right. That's two trainers down. We got four to go. I baked my Poke Sweets from scratch. You haven't got a chance. Do you make the Poke Sweets in this world? Did I just catch mine in the wild? Color me confused is all I'm saying. So, let's lollipop one of these fools. And Gumbubbler one too, just to get him out of there. Gumbubbler is not very effective. We're gonna get Gumball out of here again. Gumball's just not the play against these guys. Got level 22, which is nice, but... Yeah, let's get Gumball out of here, and... Thundershat's the only, one I, only other one I wanna level up. The only other one I wanna level up. Leaf Rush is high enough. Straw Million's too fucking high. And I don't care about me often. In fact, uh, when we get back to Cerulean or Orange City or whatever it was called, um, we get to go north, and there should be a bunch of new Pokemon up in that Nugget Bridge area, above Nugget Bridge. So we'll get to look around there. And then even after that, since we've already beat the gym, right after we do Nugget Bridge, we'll have an area down south to look at as well. Um, before the route, and then after the route, before what is normally Vermilion. I don't know what it's called in this one. Alright, I'm going to Orange Shock this guy, because he Needs it to die. Oh god, we got confused. Taffy Rap is slowing us down a bunch too, which sucks. Alright, uh, do I switch out of Thundershat? I don't want to, but I'm afraid we're gonna die by confusion if we stay in. You pop lollipop him. We're gonna orange. Actually, let's orange wave this guy, because he's annoying. Oh, Q-Pop missed. And it knows Shed Skin. That was a bad round. Um, fuck it, Meowfin. Get out there. Oh, no. Q-Pop got confused. I'm going to have to bring out the big guns in this one. I don't want anybody to get too hurt because we still have one battle left. In fact, yeah, I think we've let enough time go by. Ooh, this hits two. Peeler hits both. It only does 40 damage. Peeler is a banana type move that we learned. And it doesn't do... It's only 40 damage, but if it hits both, that's strong as hell. Leaf Rice is still slow as all get out, but... Thundershack got a level. That's good. I still have Straw Million if I need to get through it, but I'd rather these guys have a chance to get experience is all. Bullet Mint. Bullet Mint and Bite. We're so slow. Everybody got 76. I tried out so many Pokemon for that uh, for that Venonat. All right, last one. Now, this will be a battle to remember. Let's go. Okay, this one will actually be really tough. Um, we know Gumball's not the strongest. I'm not going to fuck around. Let's go right into Leaf Rush. 
Lollipop keeps missing. I think I'm just getting unlucky. And I'm gonna use Peeler because it hits both. If I wasn't gonna do that, I'd use Hunger Pains on someone. Or Hunger Dust. Yeah, let's put Hunger Dust on this guy. Oh, we got Hunger too. This will be interesting. Q-Pop getting levels up. Man, I'm glad Q-Pop can shine here. Gumballer! Is that what... That's what Gumball evolves into. He's a whole ass Gumball machine. Man, do your thing, King. Soften. Oh, no, that's not good. Bullet Mint's putting in work. Oh, Bullet Mint's super effective. Lollipop's not. Interesting. I'm going to Lollipop this guy, and we're going to Peeler to get the kill. Oh, and that's Electro. That's the Evolve Voltorb thing. Okay. So, Q-Pop, I'm actually going to get out of here because Strong Million should be able to Ember him, and we're just going to make this easy. And, ah, uh, Meowfin, because why the hell not? Man, that one shot. Strong Million is so strong. Meowfin got a level. Meowfin got a level. You have won. Such delicious attacks. Okay, Strong Million aside, that was kind of tough. Like, if I didn't, have, like, let's just remove my level 31 god monster Straw Million from the team. If I didn't have Straw Million, I was kind of running low on Pokemon. Uh, health, at least. Nobody had fainted yet, but everybody was running pretty low on health. That would have been kind of tough. Imagine taking that Pokemon out of his Pokeball just to get a gumball from him. We're getting fully evolved Pokemon really early on. I guess it's just for challenge sake, but here is your prize. You got a rare candy. Wait, that's all I got for that? I'm guessing I can just keep doing that, keep getting more. I did all that for one rare candy. That was lame as hell. Now I gotta run back through this whole, st through this whole stupid cave. All right, well, on the other end of the cave, folks, here we go. The whole ass vanilla dome for a fucking rare candy, which I guess if you can grind it and get as many as you want, sure. But that, I mean, even with a fast forward button, that takes like five minutes every time. That's just a lot. That's just an ask. Get on the ladder. I'm trying to catch up on Twitch chat. I'm only Twitch chat in a minute. Y'all motherfuckers talking about work schedules. Um. I'm excited to go north. First of all, we probably got a rival battle coming up. And then whatever they decide to do with Nugget Bridge. Candy Bridge, whatever the hell it's going to be called. For endgame, that would be a nice grind. Yeah, I guess. I feel like you'd level up faster just by battling Pokemon in the wild. Because level 18, battling level 18 Pokemon, I'm going to do shit. And one rare candy every five minutes. I think you'd just be better off battling whatever Pokemon are in Victory Road, you know? All right, so that was kind of a letdown, but we beat it, and it was tough. So the real thrill of that one was in the challenge. And the real thrill of this one is going to be when they when he left this rare candy here in the same spot. <laughs> Dork. I'm glad I didn't move a lot of these items. Soda pop, bubbly cool soda pop. Want some? No thanks. 600. Good God, you're robbing me blind. He's only giving me berries. I hate me often, man. Getting him off the team. Can't wait till we get a sixth coming up here, hopefully in this next area. Almost 200% sure there's going to be some kind of rival battle going on up here. Jelly Bridge. Wait, there's no trainer here. Hey, Thunder, how's it going? I just lost to Katina again. I can't believe that, girl. Huh? What do you mean? My starter's weak against hers. Well, in that case, it should be strong against yours. You got me there. 200 IQ play. Chocosaur. Oh, I wish I would have picked you, Chocosaur. Um. I'm going to leave Gumball in. But I'm gonna get Lifferish out here. Oh my god, look, they're level 22. Let's see how Gumbubbler does here. Budge Slap lowered my accuracy. 
bullet mint that guy. And let's try to bubble. See how good Apple is against both of them. Actually, Apple is Squirtle's type, so Apple should be weak. Him, so I won't do that. I'm going to minimize. Oh, that scary face. Not hunger, Dust! Oh, you're all assholes. Hit him up with the peeler. I'm just going to hit him and minimize. Okay, now Gumble's ready. This this one Gumble can fuck with. Um, I'm just gonna leave Chakasaur alone for now. Cause we're just gonna get the the Birdsel out of here before it can glare us or some dumb shit. I'm actually surprised it lived both those. Uh, let's get Leaf Rice out of here. Thundershot's gonna be no good against Chakasaur. Let's put Q Pop in and Gum Bubble with the Birdsel again. Ah, uh, the freaking hunger pains from the Chakasaur is fucking me up. Bryce got a level. Gumball's eating himself to death. A lollipop does. And Pikachu's not gonna be any good out here. So I'm just gonna Gumbubble. Liquor Whip. All right, missed. We got lucky. Well, if he's going for Gumball, Gumball's actually minimized twice. Yeah, it doesn't do damage. What type is it? Grape? No, 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 not Grape. Um, I'm gonna headbutt him. Cherry type is weak. Wait, does that mean Apple will be strong? I might have got my types mixed up. No, that is cherry type, so. Oh no, he has a he has freaking leech seed. Wasn't Squirtle Apple type? Doesn't that make Squirtle? Do I, I had it backwards. Oh, they flipped it. Okay. I'm an idiot. So Bulbasaur was strong against Squirtle. Squirtle was strong against Charmander. No, Squirtle's strong against Bulbasaur, Bulbasaur's strong against Charmander, yeah, yeah. They flipped it, okay. So yeah, the Apple move would've been working the whole time. Whatever, uh, Gumball leveled up, good for Gumball. Q-Pop leveled up, good for Q-Pop. Don't, I missed. All right, Homer.